Bob Bashara case. He's back in court this morning, arraigned on first-degree murder charges and ordered to stand trial in March for the death of his wife, Jane. The court entered a plea of not guilty on his behalf. Bashar is accused of hiring a hitman to kill his wife, again, Jane. This is 2012. Again, it's a bizarre case filled with sex, uh, secrets, lies. Last week, we heard testimony from people who offered a glimpse into uh, the lifestyle, the alternative lifestyle that Bashar allegedly was living, one of bondage, domination, sadomasochism, and uh, all his plans to start a new life with his mistress. Jeff Gold back with me, great criminal defense attorney. Jeff's been uh, following this one. All right, Jeff. See, I mean, the judge really laid it out there. Basically, as we listened last week uh, to the evidence that the state has, Spates is saying evidence is pretty strong and it's pretty, uh, there's a lot of it, let's say. Well, you got the doer. You got the handyman that he supposedly hired. And, and, and once you've got that, boy, you usually have the defendant. Now, if you can destroy that witness, well, then maybe it crumbles a bit. But I want to tell you something. When you got the guy who did it and he says, look, he hired me to do it. I'm just the handyman. <laughs> and that's his wife. Why would I want to kill her? You've got a pretty good case to begin with. All right. So let's, you know, in, you and I talked about this. You know, the, the, the sex side, the alternative uh, lifestyle, bondage, discipline, sadomasochism, and that, the, you know, we, we hear the, uh, the different terminologies that he had his mistress and she was his slave, he was the master, and the whole domination bit. Yeah, that gets our attention. How much does that play into the trial? Or, Jeff, is it all about the handyman that you just mentioned? Well, no, I mean, the handyman is, is the evidence against him, you know, that he did it. The rest of it uh, perhaps is a motive. You know, the viewers should know by now that motive is not required uh, to be proved by the state, but it's very helpful to explain why something would happen. In most cases like this, you would expect, you know, the wife to be killing the husband when she finds out, you know, he has an affair. So we don't know what really happened. Perhaps we know she didn't want to go along with this S&M lifestyle, the Internet-based, you know, S&M and all that. Um, and we know he had a mistress. Maybe she was going to expose him. Maybe she was going to, you know, do something that uh, he felt he had to stop and then hired the handyman. But you're certainly, that that's going in as motive in this case, that it was an alternative lifestyle. It'll go in to dirty him up, you know, in practicality, but in law, it will go in as motive. How much does it, you know, you've been a part of cases. How much do you want the jury, though, to know, to put take them into the mind uh, of a potential criminal like a Bob Bashara, so they can, okay, oh, that's why he would do this. He wanted his wife out of the way so we could start this new lifestyle. Bob's dungeon, they bought a house and they were gonna have, you know, maybe even a third woman move in to forward this lifestyle. Well, well, that's exactly right, Mike. I mean, you know, the jury wants to understand what happened. And even though motive is not required of the state, um, sometimes acts are shown, even prior bad acts like the sadomasochism is shown to prove intent, to prove method, motive, plan, we call it modus operandi. So, yeah, they want to understand it, even though it's not a required in the law. And, and that's the way the state's going to get it in, although the practical effect is also to dirty the guy up and say he's kind of a crazy guy or an alternative guy at very least. I don't think that the sex itself really, uh, you know, hurts that much with juries. I mean, we saw this when, in Jody Arias. You know, what happens is not that there's sex. Travis Alexander in Jody's case, you know, uh, uh, was a participant in all that, but that didn't change the case that Jody was guilty. Well, in this case, they want to use it to show motive. I mm -hmm. think that they can do it, uh, and I think it will affect the jury. Got it. Jeff, our one-man justice squad, nice work. And, and another thing, Bashar is in jail right now because uh, he was convicted of having or trying to have the handyman who killed his wife yeah. killed in jail. So let's right. not forget and, that fact as well. And they won't they won't know that. This jury won't know that. Got it. Ooh, good point there. Okay. Jeff, thanks again. We'll chat throughout the afternoons. We're keeping an eye on that case. Also this reaction pouring in.